We are now just over 24 hours away from the opening kickoff to one of the most anticipated State of Origin series in recent memory. We had that big dominant era for Queensland in the last few years. It has been at least on paper all New South Wales. It was only a year ago that we were saying that New South Wales had the potential with the likes of Turbo, Luttrell, Teddy, Cleary and Lua were going to go on a similar run to the Queensland Dynasty, but how different a year can be this year. No Turbo, no Luttrell for at least Game 1. The sides are so even, it is ridiculous. The Cowboys and the Broncos have come out of nowhere to put a real mark on the competition with some of their young guys like Cobo, like Nano. While the opposite can be said for New South Wales, if anything, their side has gotten weaker. However, I can't wait to see the likes of Katoni Staggs, Stephen Cryan, and Ryan Madison wear a sky blue jersey now. You've seen me do this before, and you see other people do it. We break down each game after we know the teams, and that is how we make our predictions. But screw that. Not only do I not have time and I'm too lazy to do that this year. But let's do it the right way. Let's do it as if we're predicting the NRL season. All we know is the team list for game one. That's happening tomorrow night. Live 8pm at Core Stadium. Where I will be in the Blatchy Blues section with my week. Cheering on Freddie and the boys. Despite the fact that he didn't. Jake Travojevic or Josh Adokar, but I'll be there and I am so excited for this State of Origin match. I always forget how excited I am, but this year it just feels different despite the fact there's only one manly player and he's playing and he's the captain of the state that I don't go for, which makes things a bit complicated at home when we're having dinner together. But I am so keen for this series. I have a couple of predictions I'm going to go through before a ball is kicked. The first... So I don't know. Players could get injured during club. Players could be, be performed bad in game one, game two, or game three and get dropped. Players can be called in. I don't know. I'm going in blind. I'm making my predictions before we even see what happens in game one for the entire series. This could either make me look so smart or it could make me look like the dumbest goldfish. But let's get straight into it and let's predict every single game. Who wins the series and who gets the Wally Lewis medal. So kick it off. Game one where I will be at Core Stadium, Sydney Olympic Park for the first time since the end of 2020. New South Wales versus Queensland. Freddie has famously dropped Josh Adokar and Jake Trevojevic and Billy Slater will coach his first Origin game. Things seem to be lining up for Queensland, but I think that New South Wales returning to their home after about 18 months will prove to be the difference. I think New South Wales will win game one. 18 points to 16. I think that Nathan Cleary's goal kicking will be the only difference. I see three tries apiece. I see the Queensland backs struggling a little bit. Just compared to this New South Wales side, while yes, they have dropped some big names, have been that core side that's won three of the past four series at this point. I think the Penrith connection will help, especially in game one. Billy will still be finding his feet, but mainly I think that factor of returning to Sydney after so long will help New South Wales win game one. Now, Perth, game two, a must win for Queensland. New South Wales trying to wrap up the series so they don't have to go to Suncorp for a decider. But I think that Queensland equal it. I think we get a 2019 vibe. Game one, the team wins at home. Game two in Perth, Queensland win. It won't be a smashing. It won't be like 2019 where the Blues blitz Queensland and Perth. It'll be nothing like that. Queensland will win in a close one, 22 to 18. I think Billy will learn from his game one mistakes after the L, while Freddie will probably just pick on loyalty. He probably won't pick Latrell because I don't think Latrell have enough game time back, especially if they win game one. And I think that Queensland will be able to win game two. If I had to pick a scoreline, I'll go 22 points to 18. I think it'll just be one try the difference. And I think that Queensland on the back of some Cameron Munster magic in Perth will be able to get the job done which sends us to a decider game three in Suncorp ladies and gentlemen my tip for the 2022 State of Origin series it's going to a decider at Suncorp 
and I am going against everything I have ever stood for. I think the Queensland Maroons are going to win the 2022 State of Origin Series, losing the first game, winning in Perth, and then I think winning in Suncorp with DCE making a statement. He's been the clutchest club footy player that the game's ever seen, and I feel like he's going to finally do it on the Origin stage. He couldn't do it a few years ago when Teddy Desco scored that famous Origin winning try, and I feel like we're going to get the same vibes. I think Queensland will win the decider. 21 points to 20 on the back of a daily Cherry Evans field goal. He's kicked the most field goals in the NRL era. He's kicked the most in Golden Point, and it's about time he does it. He doesn't have less long left in his Origin career, I don't think, DCE, but I think he can get it done in Origin. And while I am not just saying it's because I am the DCE Dick Rider, I am going against my own state, but I feel like Queensland will get the job done, and they will win the State of Origin Series 2-1 to one on the back of Daly Cherry Evans. My Wally Lewis medal... I've got a gut feeling, guys. I promise I'm not just sucking the man off. I think DCE will be able to kick and steer this young Queensland Maroons team around the park. Munster will produce some magic, but it'll be DCE's game management that will be the difference. If New South Wales are to win, my pick for the Wally there would probably be their halfback, Nathan Cleary. I think it's going to come down to those two. I think whichever halves pairing and mainly whichever halfback wins can play better, that's the word, play better, then that team will win State of Origin. But I just think that Billy's first series, New South Wales seemed to be on the wrong side of everything like Queensland were last year when they were coming into the game with a bunch of reserve graders with the greatest respect. The tide has turned. If Queensland, they can see an opportunity. Billy's first series, no Luttrell and no Tommy Turbo who... Both last year had some, one of the greatest Origin series of all time individually. Probably the top two, you could argue. But I'm going against every fiber of my being. I promise I'm not just a DCE dick rider. I think this is his opportunity to stand up, not only for Queensland, but for Manly without Tommy Turbo. I'm trying to make it not sound like I'm biased because I don't. I love Chezza, but during these six weeks, I do want him to, with the greatest respect, kind of go to shit. Alright, I want New South Wales to win, but I've gone biased in my predictions video, and look, it's cost me. I've already got 90% wrong, besides the fact I thought Penrith would go back to back, but that doesn't count, because Penrith are cracked. But, I think Queensland win 2-1, to one. I think that DC will win the Wally Lewis medal. Guys, I'm predicting all of this before a ball is kicked, so don't come back here before game 3 and be like, Bruh, what are you wobbling on about? I think Queensland win uh, game two. I think New South Wales win game one at home. That was an interesting order. But I think Queensland win game three. 21 to 20 off the back of the greatest halfback of all time. I said I wasn't biased, guys, but I can still speak facts. Thank you so much for listening, guys. Make sure you smash that like button. It's such a long stretch now, but if we can, by some miracle, still hit 3K subs by tomorrow night, I will, of course, do that giveaway. Just comment down below what are your State of Origin 2022 predictions. And, of course, subscribe if you haven't already. It's completely free. It's just a button. It's just a button. If you subscribe, your team will win Origin. It probably won't, but just do it anyway. Guys, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Yes, Fossey, what is he doing? Jack Wines made a meal of it. And then we have this play again. Foul, massive space. We suck him in. Dearden's there. Tua Lucky can't keep up with him. We're going to have to offload to keep it in. And we do. Another scrum. Another try. 